It was directed by Avery Sedlicek. It was produced by Kyle Mangold. It is starring Isai Sadiq, Kyle Mangold, and Richard Colley. And it's featuring music and special effects makeup by Finn McDevitt. Now, without further ado, Playwrights is proud to present Fast, Ugly, and Fucked Up. Dumbass. What do you think people think when they see a white boy chasing a black boy down into the wood, huh? Well, I'm for damn well sure no, they don't think they're playing hide and seek. Okay, I might as well just uh, wear a Black Lives Matter hoodie, you know? Carry a couple ounces of butt on me? Go ahead and serve my time and just get it over with. Cliff, I'm just trying to help. Well, thanks. You kept up? Yeah. Halfway down water, like I split off onto the Okanichi path. I knew where you were running, Cliff. Damn, the Okanichi path is still there? Mm hmm And you just followed me here. Mostly. Bullshit. Bullshit? Yeah. You might be able to keep up with those other white boys but me. A and there's no way you could remember the Okanichi Fuck path. You. you think I'd forget about the shack? Worried about Ray's face or worried about your dumb ass? Of course he's. Coach or Ray? Both of them. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm starting to think he's got the right idea with the way you act. And there's no use worrying when everything they hand you gets fucked. Handed to me, huh? You'd be one to talk. Let's ask the 
supposed to be? What's that supposed to mean? I mean, you sit on your ass all day eating barbecue Fritos and get handed some Mr. Flying Falcon Award. That's what I mean. Yeah, maybe because I can keep my mouth shut. You know, and I, I don't tell Mrs. Freeman that the reason I can't focus is because her titties are too big. Man, I don't know shit about biology. <laughs> and I wasn't lying either. I mean, that bitch has got cleavage longer than my daddy's ass crack. <laughs> It's fucking nasty, man. Yeah, I know it is. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I mean, like, I couldn't focus because I could smell her sweaty ass titty crack from across oh, the goddamn no, no. room. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how her husband puts up with that shit anyway. He probably, like, rolls over in the middle of the night about suffocates in those melons. That's a lot of hair. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like trying to motorboat the fucking Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Find that shit, and I'd wake up to a pair of sweaty titties and a knife to my head. You're not wrong. She's fucking crazy. Crazy is an understatement. <laughs> Cliff, I think you really fucked up, man. Yeah, it's all my fault. Now I get tripped by some pussy too scared to lose given what he had coming to him, and now I'm fucked. No, nah, man, this isn't like a coach benches you for the next meet type fuck. Cliff. Then what kind of fuck is it? What kind of fuck? I don't know. Oh, come on, Reds, don't give me that shit. You know, if there's anyone who can handle some tough love, it's me. I know, Cliff. Okay, then. What do you mean by what kind of fuck? I mean, is it like me telling Miss Freeman to her face that her titties are too big kind of fuck? Or is it like- It's like the kind of fuck where- it, It's like the kind where you just, I don't know, you- You had something. But- uh, Stop, alright? I'm gonna make this easy on you. O on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being me skipping class for the day, and 10 being me robbing a 7-Eleven in downtown Baltimore, how fucked am I? Okay. I mean, it's- It's probably like- an, that's a pretty wide scale. Oh, fuck the scale then, Reg. Come on, sweet. I can't. We're not gonna get anywhere if you just stand here and be a bee. Man, can you just give me a second? Quit being a pussy. Tell me what I need to hear. I don't think you want to hear anything, Cliff. Just because you think I don't want to hear it doesn't give you the right not to tell me. Reg, if you don't say something right okay, now. Okay, 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 chill. I mean, Cliff, you know, two years ago, I already realized that I was going to have to make it on my own for the rest of my time in this shithole. Because, like, uh, you know, ever since you've started running, you've, like, taken off. No pun intended. And I'm still sitting over here, throwing a steel ball ten feet and getting my ass kicked by high schoolers that look like they could be my fucking dad. And you're over there, like, running for scouts for the best top ten schools in the nation? And yeah. Yeah, you're damn right I'm Mr. Flying Falcon, because right now that's about all I've got. And yeah, I do eat a lot of barbecue Fritos, and I'm working on cutting back. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, just let me have my Fritos and my flying fucking Falcon before I graduate, because right now I'm like, I'm like really starting to freak out, man. Because I feel like everyone's got everything all figured out, and, and I'm like one worm. One worm in this mangled up ball of like retarded worms who can't find the ground. But the ground's right there, and, and your best friend worm is already deep in the soil, and you're watching him, and you're happy for him. And then his mom asks you to throw a surprise party for him after the meet, but then some dick trips him during the meet, and he starts a fight. And Cliff, like, I know he deserved it, and, and he had it coming, or whatever, but you fucked up, man. You like, you like really fucked up. Why did my mom ask you to play this? Man, part? can you just give me a second? God, you like just vomited out a piece of my soul for Christ's sake. All right, that's a fact. <laughs> You're really putting me on the spot, Cliff. Damn right I'm putting you on the spot. You can't say some vague ass ominous shit like that and then expect not to answer. Man, you know I don't think straight when I'm on the spot. On the spot, right? No one even says that anymore! I say it! Then don't call me a pussy. All I'm saying is if it talks like a duck, it walks like a duck. Oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, well, just.
just like I said, man, I can't think straight when I'm on the spot, right? If you're on the spot, then I'm behind the line. And if the man on the spot refuses to speak, then the man behind the line may be forced to cross that line. And Reg, I love you. But I'm really hoping you don't make me become that line crosser today. I'm really hoping today is not that day, and I swear to God, if you say some shit, like, give me a second Yo, more this time. this shit is so stupid. Only if it doesn't work. No, you don't. Yes, I do. My daddy used to do this shit to me when I was little, and I hated it. I was only 10 years old, but I didn't hate it the way a 10-year-old hates, Reg. Okay, I hated it with an old, like I'm talking just a seething hate, the kind of hate that you feel in your bones. But you know what that feeling taught me? It taught me that I can't go through life hating the things that draw a line between me and my success, because that's what 10-year-olds do. It's a part of growing up, Reg. Sometimes you gotta stand the fuck up. Wipe the tears out of your eye and the anger off your face and realize that the only thing from keeping you from crossing that line is the fact that you're afraid. Now, what's on the other side of the line but what's keeping you from crossing that line? Yourself. That's it. Coach Darren was there. Darren? From the University of Alabama. He left. He's the reason your mama asked me to play at the party. What do you mean he left? Did he left by his own accord? Or oh. Soon as you started beating Ray's face in, I stayed. More or less, everything went out the window, so yeah, he left. Man looked like he'd seen a ghost. He'd seen everything. I love you, Quinn. I love you too, Ray. Everyone loves you. Man, I, like, I know I say some stupid shit sometimes, but I really do want you to know that I want the best for you, like, really. Like, yeah, I might feel like a retarded worm or whatever when you're gone, but. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you've always been here, and <laughs> we fuck up together. You know, we win together, we lose together. It was a full ride, Cliff. Yeah, he was giving you a full ride. I gotta go and tell me that shit. When I mean, you asked what everything was. And hey, if you said it yourself, if anyone can say some tough love, it's you.